Here he comes. He's coming in for a pit stop. Sold 24 pair of shoes, and I'm in third place. Shower me. <laughs> Squeegee me. <laughs> Shoot me. Fratello's in second place, but I can take him. He goes home at night to visit his wife. The sap still loves her. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have that problem. <laughs> no time for frivolity. Freshen me. Shirt me. Shoe me. Get away from me. <laughs> I am now ready to sell. That should be Marcy coming to buy shoes. <laughs> the strangest thing just happened. I was taking a shower, and someone broke in and stole all my shoes. <laughs> How odd. <laughs> I only hope that this is not a night in which you need shoes. Well, you know she does, Al. I told you we have a big, important dinner with the bank president. Remember, Marcy was in the shower. You told me my hair was a mess. So, of course, I ran off to fix it. When I came back, you were gone. You must have just missed the burglar. Anyway, uh, hey, how's my hair? <laughs> Soft yet manageable. Now, uh, Marcy, as a friend who is also in the business, let me fix you up with a nice pair of shoes. Now, just sit down right here and put your feet in my hands. You're not going to look at my dress, are you? <laughs> I'm not going through the rest of my life blind just to sell you shoes. <laughs> now, here. Let me show you a very nice set of pumps, two-inch heels, which, by coincidence, match your dress exactly. They're perfect. I'll take them. Fine. That'll be $500. $500? Well, they came in a six-pack. Apparently, they were a family of cats, and we were asked not to separate them. But uh, trust me, they weren't killed for shoes. They were all run over by cars. <laughs> that must be where they get hush puppies. <laughs> Oh, spare me. Just give me the shoes. I'm tired of looking at myself in your head. Come on, Jefferson, we're late. And remember, after dinner, when they serve the cigars and brandy, you go in the other room with the wives. All right, but I better get a phone book for my pants, because every time it's the same thing. The lights accidentally go out, and I'm the helpless victim of a gang goose. Look, those people are important to my career. You'll take it and like it, Missy. <laughs> Marcy, come on, I need some help. The wind is picked up. Could be disastrous for my hair. You know. Ow! Mom, you know what I'm thinking? That we should go upstairs and split up Marcy's shoes? No, I was just wondering what I was thinking because I forgot. <laughs> Hi, Dad. This is Petal. It's part of a flower. <laughs> Isn't she great? I met her in quantum physics. <laughs> Hold my calls. There never are any, son. Never mind that now, Dad. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Young lady, you do realize that's my son's bedroom you're going to? Yes. <laughs> hey, nice shoes. Dad, don't. Come on, bud. Get over it. What is one girl in the grand scheme of your life? Just your only chance. <laughs> oh, come on. You're not alone in this. I myself have never had a woman, and I'm fine. <laughs> and neither has mom. And lately, neither has your father. 